In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a check-in station. On the left-hand side, I'm going to click Config and scroll down and go to Check-in Stations. Here you can see I have a list of all of the check-in stations that I've previously created. I'm going to click New Check-in Station in the top right, and that's going to give me an option to create my new check-in station. I'm going to call this Kids Demo, and my domain name I'm just going to call Demo Kids. .fluro.io. You can add your own um, subdomain, come up with whatever you like, uh, or you can even point your own domain, uh, which you can find out about in another tutorial, um, and have it completely custom and white labeled. Um, I can add additional domains if I want to have uh, demokids2.fluro.io also point to that first one, just like any other website. So I can add all the domains that I want to hit uh, that will give me the check-in station. Uh, you'll also see that I have the option for check-in self first or check-in parent first. Now, if uh, I want it so that people rock up to my event and they want to search for themselves or search for the person that they want to check in, um, I leave that as self first. Or I can use the more advanced parent first, which basically has the person come and search for themselves and then they choose their kids or other people in their family that they want to check in. Um, so we'll show you both, but for now I'm just going to choose uh, the parent first. And then I'm going to click on the left-hand side, check-in station options. And here I can add a description. Uh, this is for our midweek events. Um, I can enable name tag printing. I can choose whether to print a separate ticket for each child um, in regards to a separate parent ticket for them to pick up the child. Or I can leave that and it'll print one parent ticket for all of the children. It saves you on paper. I can use pin number for checkout, which means that the uh, adult will have to set a pin number when they check their child in, and they'll have to use that same pin number when they check their child out. I can add my own custom registration forms, which might have indemnity clauses or information about allergies and things like that. Uh, so when new people come, they can fill in that form. Uh, I can secure roll call. So the roll call page is in the check-in, which shows you um, all of the people who are checked in currently. I can secure that page with a PIN number. I can enable manual checkout. I can disable roll call entirely. And I can also add an interface PIN. So I'm just going to add one, two, three, four, just so you can see what that does. And here I can choose to restrict the group selection. So in the check-in, um, often you might want it so that people choose which room they're going to. Maybe you want to choose if your kids are in primary school or high school, something like that. Uh, we can restrict which groups this check-in station can actually sign in uh, and out of. So we'll just choose uh, maybe grade five and grade three. And I can also allow whether people can add uh, new kids to their family or new, new people to their family. Uh, we can choose how the family relationships works, whether it's only people who live in the same house or whether you can have uh, you know, people, nieces and nephews and things like that. And down here, I can also choose uh, how the search will work. So I can make it so that we disable searching by name and email address, and you have to search by phone number, or we can leave it by phone number or uh, first name. Um, we can just leave those ticked, ticked and say we can't search by email. And you can also choose a minimum age, which means that if you have someone uh, coming to the check-in station and you want it so that there has to be someone over the age of 18 uh, to check people in, uh, they'll only be able to search for themselves and find themselves if they're over the age of 18. So we can put in 15, um, and there's a couple of other options as to whether or not we want certain um, certain kinds of people to be able to check people in. So uh, the next step is to click Authentication, and this should automatically be set up. Uh, you can do some extra special things like whitelisting IP addresses, making so that the check-in station only works on certain networks. That's not accessible on the internet. We're just going to leave that. Uh, we're going to click Application Permissions. And this is the important part. Here we want to choose to select a role. And you can just use the check-in application only role, or you can create your own role. Uh, we just recommend using this one. And then choose the realm, which is kind of the area that you want this check-in station to work in. So we could say this check-in station is only set up for Campus 2, which means it'll only be able to see events and search for people and see the groups and things like that in Campus 2. Uh, or we could put it up the top level and it will be able to find uh, events and people across all of the different realms and areas. Uh, once we've chosen a role and chosen a realm, 
and you can choose multiple realms we want to click add and that adds that role at this realm for this check-in station uh, there's a number of other advanced things you can do but for that uh, for this tutorial that should be fine I'm going to choose a realm I'm just going to put the realm as admin and what this does is actually puts the check-in station in a realm you usually want to put this quite high up because it's kind of a configuration file you only want it so that people like yourself can be editing these things you don't want anyone to be able to edit the check-in station and how it works this role I uh, sorry, this realm is actually different to the realm that the check-in has access to this is where the the check-in station is stored uh, not where the check-in station can check people into just uh, important to clarify the two different things there and if I click Save uh, I'll now have my kids demo app and you can see demo kids and I can just click this button that says view in the browser and it'll open up our demo app and you'll see that the interface is locked and that's because I put a pin number of one two three four on it and now we're all ready to check in uh, so this can be run on an iPad or a phone or a desktop computer and you can see that there's an open event today if I click that event it'll open up full screen and we're ready to search for uh, people and I can find a uh, myself and then now I can choose the people in my family that I want to check into I can add their allergies I can also add other family members uh, to the family and after I've selected those people I can check in I can choose which groups you'll notice that they're restricted to the the groups that we picked uh, when we were setting up the check-in station so Harvey's now in grade 5 and Gordo's in grade 3 I click continue and we can set a phone number and then check in and if we click up in the top right we can click the roll call view and here we can see all of the people and their details um, and send them SMS messages things like that and that's how you set up your check-in station